Hi, this is Daryl Madison with The Fact in Black and White. Now, current events, President Trump lost the election to Biden by 7 million votes. Your votes, American people's votes, 7 million. Not 750,000, not 2 million, not 15,000 votes, but 7 million popular votes. And he is saying that he didn't lose the election. It was fraud. 7 million fraud? 7 million? Are you kidding me? No, he's kidding you. Not us that didn't vote for him, but he's kidding the people that did, the 70 million people that voted for Donald Trump, he has to collect money from. So what he's doing, he is uh, acting as though he's fighting for an election that he didn't even win, so he can raise money. If, if you have 70 million people, and each one of those 70 million people just gave you $5 for your um, request to recount the ballots and uh, say that the voting was f fixed, he would get $350 million that he can take and do whatever he wants to after he gets out of the presidency, okay? Now, knowing this, he owes many of the European banks over $400 million that's coming due in the next two to three months. So he has to raise money. So what he's doing, he's utilizing this, th his control over these people that walk around with these red hats on. Okay, not red and blue to represent America, but just red hats that only represents the Republican Party. Okay, now when you're the president of the United States, you should be the president of all the people, just not uh, the Democrats or the Republicans. But as you can see, over the last three years, he's been on a rally campaign to control the Republican voting. That's why all the Republicans are, are afraid of him. The Senate is afraid of him because the only thing he has to do is tweet out something bad about you and you'll lose your, you'll, you'll lose your seat, okay? So he knows he lost. But now he's just on a fundraising mission, okay? He's gonna raise as much as he can before January 20th, acting as though there's some tremendous voting fraud never ever seen before, okay? He's the 45th president, and then 45 of those presidents, we never had nothing like this, where they didn't respect the American people's right to pick their leader. You lost. I mean, the Buccaneers. The Buccaneers lost by three points last week. Now, if we took his scenario, we'll be complaining. We really won. The judge, the refs were against us. They, it's a rigged game, and that would screw up the whole entire NFL because and and baseball and anything else you want to any other uh, competitive sport because. You didn't believe you won, you spoiled brat. You baby man. Didn't believe you won. He knows he, he lost the, the, the election, but he's on a fundraising mission. You'll see January 20th, Biden will be the president of the United States.